look at areas that have more light than we need, take out some light bulbs, delamp, if you will. Delamping might be one term for it because one of the suggestions or the outcomes may be reducing the number of lights. I didn't want uh, the library turned into the inside of a dog. If you know the Groucho Show, Mo Mark's quote, you know, outside of a dog, a book is man's best friend. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. Some students came to us uh, and were interested in reducing the lighting levels in the library which might be the last place you would think of. And what I noticed this morning at about 10 o'clock or 10.30 was the, this side of the library that has been delamped had about twice as many people sitting here as the side that hadn't been. We speak there at Bailey the Butter Sculpture, one of the most popular exhibits here. Normally, a sculpture like this would be thrown away and it goes to waste when we can use it to make 100 gallons of you know, usable diesel fuel. So we're going to separate out the proteins, the sugars, and the water away from the fats, and we're going to take those fats, and we're actually going to use the fats uh, with our bioprocessor that we have on campus and convert that into biodiesel itself. The mileage is nearly the same as petroleum diesel. It's a little bit less, but the what the equivalent of octane is a little bit higher, so you get um, better wear on your motor. It's easy to just throw stuff in the garbage and forget about it or flick on a light switch and not think about where that energy is coming from. But everything we do has an environmental impact and students can come here, participate firsthand, learn how it works and take that knowledge back to wherever they're from and maybe do a system like this in their own community.